What is up guys, I'm Morris here bringing us a brand new episode of Washington Station, the best station for Washington Football Nation. Now today we're going to talk about uh, the, our first real free agency signing that was a shock to me, Ryan Fitzpatrick. Fitzmagic is now in Washington. So how do I feel about that? Well, I'll be honest, the first moment when I saw it announced, it was a face palm. I just went, what are we doing? Because, nothing against Ryan, but I was hoping we would go younger. We would get a more younger guy who's really solidifying himself in the league or has that potential to solidify himself in the league and just hasn't reached it yet. And maybe, you know, Ken Zimpizi and Scott Turner could really elevate him. But well, we went with Ryan, and they said Ryan and Taylor Heineke will compete for the starting job, and um, they don't fool me. I know we're, we have to be drafting a quarterback this year. I don't see uh, any work around that. I think we have to draft a quarterback. Well, that's neither here nor there. That's not talking about Ryan Fitzpatrick. So after having time to reflect on Ryan Fitzpatrick and really delving into his stats, He's playing the best football of his career right now. He's playing very good football, not just good enough. No, this is very good football he is putting on the table. And I think we need to take notice of that. I know a lot of Washington fans are like, we waited all day on free agency for this. I get it. I felt the same way. But let's think about it. We are in a win-now mode. Ron and the whole team knows we're in a win-now mode. So what does that mean? He wants, they bring in a quarterback that has experience. Whether that's winning or losing, he's taking their team to a playoffs in a couple seasons. I've watched, I remember seeing it happen. I'm like, wow, this guy has some good football in him. And he has great football left in him. And I think it's great that we got him. But here's the thing. Yes, we are a young team. Yes, we are a developing team. But that's why we brought back Taylor. That's why we brought back Kyle. That's why we're probably going to draft a quarterback. But here is the thing. We are in win now. Our team is set up for win now. A couple other pieces that we've added and the pieces that we just have. We are in win now mode. And Ron and the whole team have decided to go with a quarterback that has enough experience in the league to where he can kind of push his team on the table and be like, I have enough experience to where I can lead y'all to where y'all want to be. And he wants to, he's like, look, I'm in the last few years of my career. I'm just going to chuck it downfield. That's what we haven't had. We haven't had somebody who will just chuck it down the field. And the last time we did was Taylor Heineke. And look how well it worked out. Right? When you got Cam Sims, that vertical guy. You got Taylor, T Terry McLaurin, and Curtis Samuel. I mean, and if Gandy Golden really steps up this year, he's going to be a great threat on the vertical. Especially in the red zone. Ryan Fitzpatrick signing is absolutely the best move at at the moment. Um, it's definitely not long term scenario. It's a one year deal. Probably I would suspect he would retire after this year unless this year goes amazingly great and then either we bring him back or somebody else does. But I just see like a diamond in the rough with with our signing of him. I think it's a sign that. Not everyone understands, because I know I didn't understand at first, but um, I just, I th now reflecting, I think it was the best move we could have gone with. In full honesty, it's the best move we could have done. And I know Washington fans are like, I really wanted Dak, I really wanted, some people really want Sam Darnold, some people wanted Mitch, who's now on, on the Bills. And we're like, I really want to rustle. It's like, yeah, we had fun playing these ideas. And like, Deshaun Watch is still available. Yeah. You know, we've had fun with these ideas. But there's a point where you got to kind of meet in the middle. And it's like, we're not trying to sell out for a quarterback like that. When we can rather add more pieces to add to more stability on the team. And Ryan Fitzpatrick, I feel like he adds stability. I feel like he's built up a ton of respect around the league for as long as he's been in and what he's put on tape. So I think that's a great showing by him by coming to the team and really saying, look, I, I, I know you, you heard me a couple weeks say I was considering retirement, but look, y'all believe in me. 
I'm going to do my best for you. And that's what I see when I see Ryan Fitzpatrick. I'm seeing a guy who's willing to put his best on the field for us in his last few years of his career. And I think his ability, he has he's this gunslinger instinct in him. It's something that we haven't had. And I mentioned seeing how that works. He said, yeah, we're just going to be chucking down the ball, chucking the field, chucking the ball down the field. And I'm like, okay. I said, do it. I want to see it. I really want to see it. And, yeah, it's it's going to be a weird transition. But we have Fitz Magic in the building now. I mean, we got freaking Fitz Magic. This guy who's been in the league. This is, our, this is his ninth team he's been on. The stats he had over the last year where he had to come and basically do damage control in games for Tua. And he would win those games sometimes, or make it a very close game. And in the beginning of the season, he was playing great football, and they just benched him for Tua for no reason. Other than just saying, all right, it's Tua's time. And he's he's really right now playing the best football of his career. So as a Washington fan, I know you might be aggravated by it. Trust me, I was too. But take a few minutes. Watch his highlight reels. Watch. Look at his stats. And his percentages. And you might just change your mind. Because I know I did. We have to be really open minded to what this team is doing. We're only in the second year of this new regime. So let's put our faith in them and not criticize them for every little thing they do. This is not the old Brucey e. Allen days. This is the Ron Rivera and then everybody under him. So just breathe. Take a moment and reflect, and then think about what this signing means for our team. Thank you all so much for watching this video. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Make sure to like this video if you enjoyed. Make sure to hit that bell button so you're notified every single time I put a brand new video of Washington Station to the channel. And I'm a Morrison. I'm out. Peace.